Okay, right now I'm trying to do a, my own modification for uh, the MIDI files on this uh, controller here, the NDX800. And uh, what I've done, I've gone through, uh, opened up the tractor uh, control manager and just went ahead and load up a mod that's already made. And I've done some uh, modifications already on it. But before I do that, I take and open up a new command I add in a uh, like I'm gonna do a new command and I'm not really using nothing but I'm just going in there and clicking on uh, learn right there in the middle there click on learn and just go through and uh, press every button and turn every knob slide every slider and find out what its uh, command is See, and then I just draw me out a diagram and I just go ahead and uh, fill it in what uh, each one of them does and then after I do that I go to uh, I go to the mods modifications and I just write down what these modifiers are and then I can tell by the note, the in, the input note, what the button is what after I done wrote it all down. See, that's the reason I want you to write it down. But then you have output. Now you have to kind of uh, guess around what output is by uh, setting up a button to be a uh, a uh, a mod, and then uh, accessing. A, a mod from it for output and you can go through every note manually and figure that out it is time consuming but uh, most of most of your, uh, your LED lights are around like in the uh, second or third octavane uh, <coughs> your uh, fifth and sixth are usually controls your LED lights and uh, I'm going to try to figure out a way to set it up where I can control not just two decks but all four decks with one controller and instead of going through software see software lets you go through one uh, through different ones by whatever it's selected on the screen that it's, it's only good for one controller but with two controllers what I'm going to have it set up is they manually had their own setup to uh, go through uh, different controllers by making uh, a control uh, making a, a file for each uh, each deck and I'll have to make a mod that switches between those decks is what's going to happen and after I get the controller set up the way I do, all I do is uh, copy it into another file, media file, and uh, then I have to change the setup of uh, of those. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to say it. Of those, uh, you know, decks. If it's a deck A or a deck B, I'll just go in there and copy all this and uh, put in another file and take from B and switch it over to a C or D and uh, then I'll have to change the mod within it and I'll show you the, some of that later on now so far I have uh, I have changed the uh, this right here to where it lights up when you press it and let go of it uh, the file I had it had it set up for where this to come on but it didn't have a uh, actual uh, command for this button and it had uh, commands for your cues so you can set cues but it had a command for you to delete your cue but it didn't even have the uh, the uh, modification for that button so I went and done that plus uh, with the mode button they had it to where this would cut on uh, your sync well if you press your sync and you're just trying to get to your hot cues then you maybe messed up what you were mixing and uh, 
so I changed that you, you can hold record and press pitch now the pitch lights on and that just means that uh, you're you're in sync and uh, if you press it this without record that controls your key lock so if you look at this you can see that it's on and off but if we look over at the uh, X1 controller you can see that it corresponds with it. Uh, the next step I'm going to try to do is where we have this um, mod this mode set up to uh, change these uh, three buttons here well it's, it allows you to switch from loop section loop sections and toggle loops off all right but in this section it allows you to change these two uh, cues what I'm going to try to do is take these as well and map them as cues that way we have six cues on this controller and we can go back and we still have loop in and loop out okay what I've done now I finally have got the uh, hot cue set up the way I want them let's see we can do the loop alright change the size of the loop we'll cut the loop off switch to mode got hot cue one two Three, five. And if you look, the cues are light up on the, uh, the tractor controller, the uh, X1. So now, if we hold this, we can delete a hot cue. So we have all that now. Now let's load up. I'm gonna keep those uh, cues for right now. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna load up a track that ain't got no cues. Okay. Now I've done so. Buy it, use it, break it, fix it, trash it, change it, melt, fix it, trash it, change it, melt, fix it, trash it, change it, melt, now, fix it, we gotta, trash it, change it, melt, fix it, 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 trash it, change it, melt, so now the next step we're going to try to figure out is how to we're going to try to make another mod hopefully we can use probably one of these other buttons and see what they do like um, recall a program in time one of those two to set up maybe another modification and we're going to try try to uh, get it where we can go through a different uh, uh, decks with this one unit without using uh, the software select 